Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to discuss about defects of vision and their correction. Before moving on, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then do subscribe and press the bell notification for updates to the next video. And do share the videos with your friends and don't forget to comment. So, let us discuss today's topic. Hello students and welcome back once again. Hope you all are doing well at home and I'm sure you all are studying and preparing your lessons properly. Um, today we are going to discuss the second part of the chapter Human Eye and the Colorful World. And our today's topic is about the defect of vision and the correction. Our last class was uh, about the structure and function of the different parts of the human eye eye. Uh, we know that the eye has got different parts and they play different role, no? isn't it? So that we get a clear view of what we see. If the, uh, if any part of the eye does not work properly, then we might be, we might not be able to see the objects clearly. And this is called the defect of vision. And uh, we can also correct that uh, defect by using various measures. So what are the different measures we can use if we have any defect or what are the various defects that our eye experience so that we are going to discuss in this class. So let us proceed to today's class. The main defects of vision that our human eye experience are first one is the myopia, second is the hypermetropia and third one is called the presbyopia. Myopia is also called the near sightedness. Hypermetropia is also called far sightedness. So let us discuss one by one what are these effects, how they occur and why they occur and what corrective measures we can use if we have such defects in our eye. So let us discuss one by one. Okay, take a look at these uh, pictures. Here, the first picture is what? I think you can easily recognize this because this is a very common thing in a, at everyone's home, isn't it? Almost uh, at all our home, we can see this picture because our parents, grandparents or even our brothers and sisters might use this. This one is the picture of a spectacle. And the second picture is what? This woman is trying to put a contact lens in her eye, isn't it? So what comes to your mind if you see these uh, pictures that by the use of spectacles or contact lenses we can correct the various defects that we experience in our eye, isn't it? So let's, let us discuss one by one. The first defect is called the myopia. Now, myopia is also called nearsightedness. What happens to a myopic person? The myopic person can see the nearby objects clearly, but cannot see the objects situated at a distant place. That means the objects that are located at far away, that far place, cannot be seen properly by a myopic person. But the near objects can be seen properly. So, that is why it is called near sightedness. Also, the lens that is used for the correction of this problem is called a concave lens. Now, why the person cannot see the objects situated at a distant place? Because the generally what the image is always formed on the retina, isn't it? But in case of a myopic person, the image will be formed in front of the retina, not at the retina. Because this is because of the excessive curvature of the eye lens or the eyeball gets too much elongated. That is why this problem arises. Let, a, let us look at the diagram of a myopic eye. So this is the eyeball, isn't it? And this is the lens. Our lens is what? A convex lens. So here this object is situated nearby. When the object is situated nearby, the image is formed at the retina. That means a myopic person can see the nearby objects clearly. There is no problem in that. But when 
the object is at very this is the object that is located at a far distance so when the um, <coughs> object is situated at a far distance look here these are the rays of the light that is falling on the lens and that converges at the point at which the lens will converge there we get the image isn't it but in this case the image is formed in front of the retina that means the image is formed here but not here generally where we should experience the image at the retina but here the image is formed in front of the retina that means there is a problem in seeing the objects located at a far distance but if you this is what lens this is a concave lens so if you use a concave lens concave lens is also called what diverging lens so if you use a concave lens here it will diverge the ray of the light a little bit so that it converges at the point of the retina so here the image will be formed so concave lens will help us in correcting the problem of myopia so if you are also ex experiencing the problem that you cannot see the distant objects clearly you should take what lens a concave lens so this is the problem of a myopic eye and how we can correct then second defect is called a hypermetropia now hypermetropia is also called a far sightedness because the hypermetropic eye can see the far objects clearly that means opposite to that of myopia here the person can see the objects located at far place but cannot see the objects nearby okay <coughs> we know the near point of a normal human eye is what 25 centimeter till 25 centimeter he or she can see the objects clearly without any strain in our eyes but for this hypermetropic person he should hold the book or any object a little bit more compared to 25 centimeter his uh, near point is beyond 25 centimeter not 25 centimeter but more than 25 centimeter because he cannot see the nearby objects clearly so uh, this is called the <coughs> far sightedness and here what lens generally we use we use the convex lens or converging lens to correct this type of hypermetropia problem let us take a look at the picture this is the picture of a hypermetropic eye if the image is far here is the oh sorry object here is the object if it is very far it can easily focus the image at the retina but if the object is near this is the point where the object is near if the object is near the image is formed not on the retina but beyond the retina back side of the retina okay so as a result we need to use a convex lens so the convex lens will converge the image or sorry converge the rays little lower so that it converges at the point of the retina okay so that we can get a clear picture of the object on the retina so for a hypermetropic eye we need to use a convex lens for the correction so that the image is formed on the retina and not on the back side of the retina then uh, okay look at this picture again what does this picture tell you there is a old person and he is reading a newspaper at home also if we have grandparents what we can see that they find it so difficult to read the newspaper or to watch the television or to read any book they feel strain on their eyes they cannot read properly or they ask us to read for them isn't it because they experience the problem of press myopia now this problem is seen at the person have with older age now what happened to them we know that our eye lens has got the ability to adjust its focal length yes or no according to the position of the object and that is called the power of accommodation so when the person will become older their power of accommodation will decrease okay 
as a result they find it difficult to see the objects clearly okay so they have to use different spectacles or lenses for the correction and this problem is called the presbyopia also uh, we see that some people are having both the problem together both myopia and hypermetropia also okay and for that we have to use a spectacle having both the lenses upper part concave lens lower part convex lens both the lenses uh, together in one same spectacle for the correction of both the problem now why this problem occurs generally we know that the contraction and expansion of the eye lens is done by what the ciliary muscles that are holding the lens so when the people will become older their ciliary muscles becomes weak okay as a result they cannot contract or expand any longer so as a result this problem arises when the person becomes older <coughs> also there is one more problem okay one more problem is there out of the three one more is there that is called cataract this is also very common to older people now this is a picture of a person having cataract eye problem what happens when a person will have cataract the eye lens will become milky or cloudy look here the lens is becoming milky color or cloudy okay so what is the cataract problem the crystalline lens of the people generally at the old age becomes milky or cloudy and because of this problem sometimes we may see that some people completely lose their vision they cannot see properly or some of them can see a little bit but most of the cases we can see that they completely lose their vision but here this problem we cannot uh, correct by the means of any uh, sun uh, glasses or lenses we need to do a eye surgery with the help of a eye surgery only we can correct this problem we cannot correct it by means of any lenses but only with the help of a eye surgery we can correct this problem so generally what we have discussed today today we have discussed that there can be problem in our eye also as a result of which we face different uh, uh, problems to see the objects clearly isn't it and what type of uh, problems we have discussed today myopia hypermetropia presbyopia and the cataract and this can be corrected by various measures myopia can be corrected by using concave lens hypermetropia can be corrected by using convex lens and presbyopia can be corrected by using either both the lenses or any one of the lenses and cataract can be corrected by doing a uh, eye surgery so that's all we have discussed in this class uh, in our next class, we will be taking the next topic. So, till then, study at home and prepare your lessons properly. Thank you.